what I'm going to look at is this cell here. I want to go first of all up to here. I'll make that 400. Okay. Look at this cell here. If I take the Swiss cross and put it onto there, it becomes a drag cross and I can drag the cell down. Now if I go back and I put this down to 180, what I've done is to look at dragging various things about. If I take January, if I put my Swiss cross onto the corner there and then drag it down, you can see I can drag it from January down to December. If I double click that I can move it out there. OK. Now I can do the same with the word Jan if I take it move the Swiss cross down to the corner there, press down and drag it down. OK, I can go Jan down to December. I can do the same with Monday. Here's Monday and I can drag that down to Sunday. I can go up here to the division after that, double click on there and to move it out to the length of the longest word. I can take MUN, drag that down and so on. Now why have I got Jack Barnet 21 there? Because I have customized something. If I go to Tools and down to customize it, no, down to options, I get here to options. There's the option box. If I want to make a special list, I just write something in there. Jack Barnet 21, comma. Jack Barnet 22, comma. Jack Barnet, let's go again. Jack Barnet 23 and so on. Alright, if I OK that, alright, I've clicked on to add there, it's put it into there. Fine. Now, if I've got that as part of my list that I've just added, when I move the Swiss cross onto the drag area and drag it down, there you are. So, I can take certain months, I can take days, I can shorten the month, I can shorten the day, or I can customize. That is how to create drag things.